Hi, I'm Travis uh, here at BlackOvis.com and today we wanted to come at you with a quick video about crispy boots and how to get them sized correctly for your foot. So what we did is brought Corey, who was our crispy dealer rep, um, brought him in to answer some questions and kind of give you guys a guide on how to get fitted properly into your boot. Thanks, Travis. So step one to sizing, I, we always want to start with the starting point, obviously. And so what we always recommend is start with your common shoe size. Our boots are brought in on a North American last. And so they're going to be very akin to most footwear here in the States. I always tell guys, throw out cowboy boots, throw out rubbers because they fit way differently. But sure. if you're wearing Nike tennis shoes um, or common U.S. boots or shoes, that's where you should start. A better starting point, if you have the time, is this Brannock device. I know you guys have one in your storefront. Yeah. I'm sure you are pretty familiar with how to use it. It's really the best starting point. If you measure an 11 and a half here, that's where I'm gonna tell guys, that's the first boot to try on. Okay. Once we have that starting point, you're typically gonna be plus or minus a half size of it. And I'd say 80% of guys fit into that traditional size they wear. Mm -hmm. And then depending on how you like your boots to fit and how your foot meshes up with our last, you might have to go up or down a half size. Okay. Now I wanna talk about a few different last families because we really fine tune our boots to perform in specific ways. And so we actually do use a little bit different last in our footwear. I'll start out with the narrow side. Now I know you like the mm -hmm. Thor, right? Oh yeah. You've got a little bit narrow foot. So in, in Travis's case, where he knows the Thor fits him really well, this narrow last is probably gonna hit the nail on the head if we wanna go to that second boot. And so the crossover in Brickstall, have you tried this boot on? I have. What do you think? Super solid boot. Yep. Yeah, the uninsulated Brickstall that you guys came out with is super solid. Yeah, and we, we find that people that like the Thor, if they want to go to more of a mountain, a little bit burlier boot, um, this is a great early season boot, and it's going to fit very similar to that Brickstall. Okay. Now, going to our traditional last, I'd say this makes up the core of our models. And so I've got the Summit, the Colorado, and the Nevada series here. And it's going to be that traditional North American last, a little wider in the forefoot. It's going to accommodate us Americans better because we do have a little bit fatter feet than the sure. Italians. Now, the Guide series, the Wild Rock series, and the Hunter are actually all going to fit the same as these models. And so if you've got a Summit already and you're looking for an all-leather insulated boot, that Wild Rock and the Guide, it's going to hit the nail on the head. Leather can affect sizing a little bit, but we do build them to fit, fit the same feet. Okay. So we get this question a lot, and it's, is this boot going to break in over time and give you a better feel on your foot? Yeah, it certainly can. I want to be really close when we start out the day you try those boot, boots on. The boots can go a few percent one way or a few percent the other way. They can both shrink and stretch a little bit, especially in the leather boots. But typically it's not enough that I can't just accommodate that with lacing. Okay. So I'll move over to the widest boots we make. The Wyoming and the Idaho models are going to be the widest forefoot. They still have a pretty narrow heel cup so we can still get that good ankle bite there, but it is going to be the widest if you have a really fat foot and you've tried some of the other models on. That's mm -hmm. typically where we're going to push people. Okay. And on the on the other side, somebody like you, that boot's probably not going to fit. If you really like the fit of a Thor or Brickstall or Crossover, that Wyoming and Idaho just might not fit your foot. Yeah. One thing I had a question on is Say I'm a nine and a half in this store, am I also going to be like a nine and a half in the Colorado or the Wyoming, or is that going to change? Where you're a nine and a half in this store, mm -hmm. you might just not be able to make the widest last work for you. Okay. But where I, I wear that guide as my go-to all-around favorite boot, it's that traditional last. I love the brick stall. I know when I go to a little bit more technical and performance fit there that... I might be sacrificing a little bit of comfort for that performance because we need to narrow up that toe so I can be more technical while going uphill or scrambling. Okay. And so I wear an 11 and a half in both boots 
Now I do need to fine tune that fit just a little bit. I wear a medium weight sock in a guide or Nevada where I go to a very thin sock here and I actually run a little thinner insole, which is a, okay. those two pieces are great ways to fine tune your fit. Once we're 90 or 95% of the way there, I can add or subtract volume with a sock or an insole and even changing okay. my lacing system. Perfect, so it's a good starting point to get start with your normal size and then make small tweaks once you get the boot, whether it be a sock or an insole, like you said. It's, it's really as simple as that. If you wear a 10 every day, start out with a 10. We might need to make some alterations, but that's where we're gonna you know, lean on you as a dealer to give good advice to people when they're calling and emailing them in, as well as you might need to exchange some boots, which I know you guys do probably daily. Yeah, we do it a lot. So, and that's one hard part about getting into a crispy is that there's not a ton of physical stores that you can go try them on. So you work with a lot of online retailers to get these boots out and here at Black Ovis, we try to make that uh, sizing process as easy as possible. One of the questions we get asked often is a guy will receive a boot, uh, get it on his foot, try it on, and he doesn't really know whether it's the correct fit or not. So what are some good indications of how do you know whether a boot fits correctly or not? Sure, Travis. We get that question a lot on the phone as well. It's pretty easy to tell when a boot is too small. If you've got that thing laced up and you're going to be running into the inn on a downhill, mm -hmm. it's def you need to go a size longer. And so that is usually the indicator for when a boot's too short. Typically when a boot's too big, you're just going to have a lot of slop. If you have a lot of slop in that boot and it doesn't feel like it's really gripping very well, that's when we typically need to go to a lower volume or smaller size or take up some of that volume with the insole or sock. Okay. Another piece to watch for is hot spots. When you put that boot on and you can right away feel the outside of your knuckle, it's pressing way too hard. We're gonna see some break in on that boot, but if it's a major hot spot or you have a few, that boot just might not be the right size or the right last for your foot. Sizing is a difficult thing to get nailed down, and so we want to make that as easy as possible here at Black Ovis. So we have a 30-day return policy where if the boot doesn't fit right or you need a different size, you can simply contact us here and we'll send you over a prepaid return label that you can send it back and swap out sizes and we can end up getting you into that boot that's going to fit uh, perfect for your foot. Mm -hmm.